I'm quitting making content on this channel and on all of my English social medias. In this video, I will tell you why and uh, also react to my favorite moments in the channel over the years. I'll be totally transparent with you. You guys deserve it. I made a Finnish YouTube channel about a year ago. It's already over 10,000 uh, subscribers. And right now I'm at a point where I can't focus on two channels. It's too much work for me, especially now when... Uh, I have a young young boy, uh, a family, I want to focus on that as well. I can't focus on two channels, so I have to make a decision. And for me, it makes more sense to now continue on the Finnish channel. Uh, reasons for this, first of all, I can be more myself. It's easier to make content on the native language, of course. And also, the views I'm getting on the Finnish channel is pretty similar to what I get on the English channel. And one thing I've noticed over the past year, most of the sponsors I'm getting are Finnish companies and they're specifically interested on the Finnish channel. Even though I get massive amounts of views here and thank you for that, like if I get 30,000 views a video for example, it's a massive amount but to a worldwide audience, to sponsors, I'm competing against all the big dogs. But in Finnish, if I get 20,000 views on a video, Finland only has 5 to 6 million people. It's a massive amount and sponsors are more interested. So financially right now, uh, Finnish does make more sense for me. The final reason is NHL is not organizing the gaming world championships anymore, so I'm trying to focus on more more and more things and it's just easier on the Finnish channel. Simply enough, that's that. I'm making one more video on this channel, my final hot champions. I'm not shutting down the idea totally of coming back at some point. Maybe the world championships will come back at some point. Maybe NHL esports will grow again. If that happens, I think I want to make content on English. Who knows, but yeah, that's where I'm at. Let's react to my favorite moments on the channel over the years. Hey guys, this is Ekin, welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Dude, the guy who started out had absolutely no energy for, for a YouTube video, let me tell you that. Yeah, my first video was some NHL 19 GWC highlights. The game looked so different back in the day. And uh, yeah, then in NHL 20, I started playing half started doing hot champions rewards and highlights which kind of kind of got my channel going EA released my squad battle team in nhl 20 as well which was completely ridiculous this tournament was insane uh a tampa bay lightning qualifier to make it to tampa bay i had a three goal comeback against Iked, which was insane then in the losers bracket i had <laughs> who remembers super weird by the way but yeah, my channel always revolved around, um, you know, hot champions, hot, and then tournaments. Different tournaments. Yes! Yeah, we've, we've had a lot of fun, man. We've had a lot of fun. This was my best pack I've ever gotten. Uh, and this was the best pull I ever got. <laughs> this was like... <laughs> Help me! Help me! Oh, I miss my cats, man. <laughs> Oh my god. But this was like the first month of the game that Iginla was worth like a million. I think this was my most watched pack opening as well on YouTube. Um, and yeah, we are on to NHL 21, one year after I properly started YouTube. This was my best year of competitive gaming and where my gameplay level was the highest in general. Right now you're seeing me come back in Hot Champions being down 5 goals in the third period. At this stage I, I had 4 straight 20 annos. I was going for my 5th one. Um, I remember I did make this comeback but I felt just short of winning 100 games in a row in Hot Champs. I think I'm still really good but 21 was where I felt like I was at my peak. Um, it was probably because it was the only year in my adult life when I was single. <laughs> that honestly, that, <laughs> that is a big deal. But yeah, final minute. Uh, I made the comeback. My opponent, Jerska, still, still scored a goal. But, you know, we come back, as always. I don't know, I have no emotion. The thing that happens to me... When I, when I like really, really want to win in tournaments and stuff, I get real quiet because I just want to focus and I throw all the emotion out. I don't know, it's a really weird thing about myself, I, I guess. Hello, chat. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, chat. Oh, man. Like I said, I thought this was my highest year of competitive gaming. Um, NHL 21 was the first year the Finnish National League organized the Esports League. Um, 
I won the tournament with Artuzio. Both of us played games, but I remember I didn't lose a single game. Also in 21, I started the favorite series of many of you and of myself on this channel. Road to Gaming World Championships. I made an all new hot team around Christmas and then recorded my footage from day one up until the end of the World Championships in, in Ultimate Team. I made the series three years in a row from 21 to 23. Uh, absolutely loved it. I think this was another really turning point in the channel where my channel started to grow. Um, yeah, I won the World Champ or the European Championship in 21. To this day, I feel like I would have won the World Championship. Because of COVID, we never got the World Championships. Uh, in 21, which, which was a shame. Like I said, I I thought I was at my best in that game. Uh, <laughs> my girlfriend <laughs> cutting, cutting my hair. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I made this bet if the Leafs lose to Montreal round one uh, in the 21 Stanley Cup playoffs. I will cut my hair. Obviously, it happened. Here's some sixes highlights. Uh, I made a lot of sixes videos on this channel. I won't show you a lot of a lot of best moments in this video. It would probably deserve a whole new video, but yeah, there's there's tournament win that we got. A lot of emotion on the sixes videos. That's why I really love doing them, and I to, to this day I love playing sixes. Here's I play. That's Artu Jamsen taking shootouts at me. Uh, he's an LA Kings draft pick. I think he got drafted in the second round, if I don't remember completely wrong. Uh, right now he plays in the Kings AHL team. He scored 5 out of 10 penalty shots to me. <laughs> you will only see him score, because that's more... Uh, <laughs> that's more entertaining, right? But yeah, let's jump to NHL 22. Uh, probably the toughest year in my life. Uh, honestly, health-wise, I was sick basically the whole year. I wasn't feeling good. And also, NHL as a game, 22, I, I didn't like at all. I didn't like at all. I had, I had a lot of struggles. It was a tough time for me making content, even playing the game, playing in tournaments. But in game three, overtime in the European Championships, I did end up winning the whole thing again. I don't even know why or how. Maybe that's why the reaction of the winning goal was, was like that. You know, I wasn't really expecting to win and it was a tough year for me, so winning the European Championship meant a lot. There was no World Finals in 22 again. I would have had so many chances without COVID, man. <laughs> it is what it is. Then we go to NHL 23 and 23 was honestly even worse than 22 for me. The game, game itself, all glitch traps and forced one-timers. I hated the game, I lost more games than ever. I still had similar health problems, which... Didn't help with my mood, but yeah, it was a tough year. This clip is insane. <laughs> you see this again. Oh. Our opponent did that, Patrick Stefan, in the Sixes tournament. Saved an empty net and then our goal is scored on a breakaway. In 23, we also made this series with my girlfriend where I teach, teach her to play for six episodes. <laughs> I don't know. The biggest roast of my life. <laughs> oh, no. Even the dog would beat you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> oh, I absolutely love doing that. Even though I didn't like 23 and I lost a lot, I still had plenty of tournament success. Um, this is the IHF E World Championship, which we won three years in a row with Finland. This is the final year. I always loved this tournament. Uh, in the playoffs, you played four games, you had a partner. And both of us, both of you played two games against another country's representative. And the aggregate score of the four games made it through. So heading to the final game against Cookie, we were down seven goals on aggregate. I needed to win top shelf Cookie by seven goals. He's a former world champion of the game. By seven goals. And I scored a couple goals early and I just got into this uh, zone. I don't think I've ever been in before. Uh, I listened to Eminem on full, full volume and just... <laughs> Just went at it. And uh, yeah, this was the most insane comeback I've ever done. I remember after this game, it was honestly the first time and probably the only time I've ever cr really cried after a tournament. I was like, obviously it's a big tournament, but not even that. The the fact that I... <laughs> I the fact that I scored seven, eight goals straight against a former world champion of the game in one game. 
when I when we need to do that was was pretty nuts. To this day, even though that was online, even though the prize pools weren't as big as the NHL gaming gaming world championships, that's probably the like really the best memory that I have in a tournament. It's weird. The lead for Aki. It is with the Finns. I want the NHL European Championship as well. Again in NHL 23. Again in Game 3 overtime. Two years in a row. It, it was this close that I would have not won it. Also, this year was finally a year where World Finals were back. A trip to Nashville. This was one of my favorite trips, I remember, with Tempanen, who's one of my best, best friends nowadays. This was the first time I met him in this competition. I did make it to the finals this year. I lost to Joe's. Couldn't get my second NHL World Championship, which... I don't know. You know, I still would want. It is what it is. But then we go to last year. And last year, you saw a massive improvement in my content. It was the first year I had a full-time editor for multiple months. Thank you, Willy. I'll actually... <laughs> I'll tag my editor's Instagram on the comments. He's, he's the reason my videos got the quality boost that they did uh, around NHL 23, 24. Santa playing hoot in NHL 24. I'm hijacking Eki's ultimate team. What the f This Santa champs was... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on in this game, dude? Oh my god. <laughs> what an idea. Right away, we go to the World Championships. <sighs> The series against Artuzio. If the winner of this series qualified to the European Championships, the top eight finals. I lost game one in OT. Game two, uh, Artuzio ties up in the final minute and has a penalty shot in game, <laughs> in game two overtime to win the series and knock me out. And what a clutch manual goalie. Oh my god. Oh, crazy. I ended up winning game two in OT. Mad. I'm quiet again. Trust me, inside of me, I, wa I, want, to <laughs> I want to yell. Looking back, back at this footage, I want to yell. Game three, I'm up two goals. But it's not over. Artuzzi again comes back. But in OT, I get the luckiest bounce ever. To this day, I wish my mic wasn't muted here. You should have, should have heard everything. Oh man, what a series! This was the, this was one of the most, or this was the most insane competitive NHL series I've ever played, like easily. In the European Championships, <laughs> I got to give credit to Iken. This was the best goal ever scored against me in tournament. But um, around the European Championships last year, I felt like I was completely. At my peak, I felt pretty similar to NHL 21 with the way I was winning games. We all remember what happened in the World Championships though. I don't know, for some reason I felt like I lost a bit of my level or then the North Americans were just better. I don't know. But yeah, that's my best memories of the channel. As you see, my favorite memories over the years were basically a lot of lot of tournaments. Obviously, we had a lot of fun in Hot Champs, in Hot whatever, but you know, in tournaments, big money on the line, World Championships on the line, a lot of great moments. At the end of the video here, I just want to thank each and every one of you for the support over the years. I can't thank you enough. 42,000 subscribers on this channel, which is absolutely mind-blowing and I can't say enough how hard the decision <laughs> the decision was to kind of put this channel. I guess we can say on pause. Might be the final goodbye. Thank you for everything. And always in the Finnish streams, Finnish channel, whatever. Come come, come to say hi. Come to say hi. I haven't forgotten how to speak the language. <laughs> so I, I don't know what to say. Have a fantastic day. Fantastic week. Forever, I guess. It was fun. Love you guys. And uh, see you in the last video.